of course this is not the release date video that I would gladly love to make because if it would if we, if we would have a release date for Lost Ark this wouldn't be my intro I would just basically be yelling like a crazy child Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take a moment and show you some interesting piece of news regarding Lost Ark that if you really think about it and make a couple of connections, you might actually think that this is the first step towards Lost Ark's release in the West. There was an article on the um, uh, Russian version of Lost Ark uh, I think uh, a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that, that they were saying that Lost Ark is now finally ready to move on to my dot games platform. Now, if you remember last month, I had or two months ago, I had a video in which I told you that my dot games is looking for an English speaking community manager for Lost Ark specifically, and he's going to work in Russia and he has to start immediately, etc. So um, that for me hinted the first move from the current Russian publisher of the game that that they are also going to be the publisher for the West, right? Many of you were skeptical, you know, my.games, mail.ru, was going to publish the games, going to be paid to win, etc. But I want to just, just, just quickly throw it out there, just one sentence, that so far in Lost Ark, mail.ru has only done good things to the game. They have not done a single thing differently or worse than the Korean publisher has done to the game in Korea. So Lost Ark has stayed as it was intended so far under Mail.ru as a publisher in Russia. Is there any need to worry? I don't know. Personally, I'm not worried because I judge them by their, their current actions, not by their other games. Now, leaving this aside, the article also talks about the importance of Lost Ark being on my.games platform basically my.games has a different a separate launcher than what we're using right now to play in russia this uh, this uh, 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 mail.ru launcher and they have a variety of other games games which are also available to the western players of course within the my.games launcher if you just log in there without a vpn you're not going to be able to play some of the titles lost ark is also going to be a title that you from from Germany or France or wherever you live, US, you're not going to be able to play it even though my.games has games that you can play. So nothing changes right now with Lost Ark, but the whole idea of my.games needing a, a, an English speaking community manager for Lost Ark and then now this piece of news that hey you know Lost Ark is transitioning from, from mail.ru uh, a launcher and platform to my.games because it's the most positive thing we can do for Lost Ark and it's gonna get much more audience etc. They've also of course mentioned that Lost Ark even though it, it is gonna be uh, on their international platform, it's still going to be available just to the same countries that it is available now. So, you know, it's still for Russia, it's not for the West, this is not release news. But I'm just saying, if the game is already on that platform, nicely integrated and you can launch it, etc., uh, then the only thing they need to do with the game is finish translating it to English and then unlock it for the English speaking players in Europe and North America, South America to play it, right? Does this mean that mail.ru or my.games is going to be the publisher for Europe with my.games platform and then the American uh, uh, players are going to get Lost Ark later or through another publisher or is still mail.my.games uh, going to release North American servers, maybe in some North American uh, 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 place that they have for servers. I don't know all of these things and obviously all of this is speculation, right? In the article they're just saying that it, the game is still for Russian players in Russia, only transitioning from mail.ru platform to my.games. But for me, as a fan of the game as, and as someone that is hopeful, this actually gives me, re this and the previous piece of news with the community manager gives me reason to believe that the game is making its first steps behind the scenes, right, argumented differently than we would like to, um, towards a towards Western release, at least towards a European uh, release of the game. Honestly, right now at this point, after the community manager for Lost Ark in English news and this particular news that, you know, the game is moving to my.games, I actually dare myself to believe that we might even see a release for, of Lost Ark this year in November 
at least for the European market. Not sure what uh, what uh, North and South America are gonna do. So this is this is for me just nice news. All of it's speculation. I'm I'm not getting mega excited about it. It's just a piece of nice news that can be interpreted by us Westerners a little bit differently if you just make some connections. This is all I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. I'm gonna link all of the things that I've talked about in the description below, the uh, the article and my previous video with the community manager in case you've missed that. Please subscribe to my channel so you wouldn't miss these pieces of, 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 of news in the future because I do, uh, every week I do, I have one at least or two uh, videos about Lost Ark. I wish you guys as always lots of love. If you wanna know how to play Lost Ark, I have a great guide, six minutes everything you need to know to play lost ark right now in russia and pick your class get the feel of the game before maybe a possible release this year in europe uh, i will link that in the description below it's always under all of my videos i wish you lots of love again for the third time uh, stay safe wash your hands and see you really soon